Hello everyone, Brett Settles from Revisto here. And today we're going to continue our Revisto 5 tutorials and we're going to take a look at the find objects. Now, if you haven't seen any of the prior two tutorials about properties in the object tree, you're probably going to want to go take a look at those first. They should be in the Revisto guide. And what we're going to talk about here will involve those. So if you don't have that prior knowledge, probably a good idea to go back and get it. Now, up here at the very top, you're going to notice all of the new Revisto tools. All of the Revisto 5 functionality really involves using model data. So it's all contained in the 3D environment of our product. Find Objects is the third button to the right, as you can see here, represented by a pair of binoculars. When I open this up, you'll notice that we have a couple different buttons and the ability to add conditions and groups. In here, this is where we can create a search set from any sort of find objects um, commands that we put in here. And we also have the ability to clear everything out of here and start fresh. Down at the bottom, you'll see that we have a couple different options selected where we can actually choose the elements only and even prune selections below the actual elements that we do select if we, if we have any sort of geometry that we want to get out of that selection so elements only as we talked about in the original object tree tutorial that means that it's not going to select any systems or anything like that that fit your condition it's really only going to select physical elements that are modeled and then we also have three other options here where we can start to get into matching case characters with and diacritics as well if I go up here and I add a condition, this is where I can say I want a property condition, a current selection set that I have, search below the current selection, an actual search set, search set conditions, or a section box. And this adds a lot of flexibility to the way that we can search for things. I'm actually going to use a search set in this exercise to actually uh, show an area of pipe being highlighted because that search set contains a section box. If I go up to property condition, I can see every condition that we can see at this category level. Now, I can always go and choose exactly what I know I want, which is mechanical, but let's say that I'm someone who doesn't really know the structure of all of this, but I do know that I'm looking for a certain system. I can actually skip that first part type in system and it's going to bring all of my results directly to me that have to do with anything that has system in the naming. I can say, oh, I'm looking for a mechanical system type and then see all the options of the mechanical system types that are currently in the model. If I want to look at the hydronic supply, I can simply click that and find all those objects. Those objects will then be highlighted in the object tree and I can actually right click those and isolate those in transparency as well from finding those objects, selecting them, and then using my object tree to manipulate the view. As you can see here, we have a lot of this hydronic system or all of the hydronic system selected. But what if I want to look at a specific area? How could I do that? Well, one of the ways that you could do it is by using search sets that contain section boxes or manually placing the section box. In this case, I have a search set that represents the roof area of where this hydronic system is. And whenever I select this and then apply this down here, you're going to see that it selects a very specific amount of the hydronic system that has to do with the area in the roof. As I select that, you'll notice that everything that is now selected from that hydronic system exists in that roof space. So it gives us great flexibility in the way that we use these property conditions and the additional information we've already manually put together to create very advanced searches in here. And if I want to create a set from this, I can simply say save as a new set by choosing our save as search set button and specifying hydronic system roof. Say OK, and we will now see that search set down here. 
If I need to clear all of the property conditions I've put in here, I can simply choose this button and it takes me back to my base ability to find objects and start from scratch. Thank you for joining me for this find objects tutorial and we will continue on with the search sets next. Thank <laughs> you.